What is lobbyism? It was back in the early 19th century that people first began to lurk in the lobby of the U.S. Congress, waiting to accost politicians. They were dubbed lobbyists. They were wheeler dealers, people with agendas to promote, and their goal was to petition the figures in power and influence decision making. These days, lobbyists often meet with politicians over breakfast or at gala events. They're professional advocates, networkers, and campaigners. Sometimes they even draft bills. Their clients are energy providers, reactor operators, and car makers, among others. Some 5,000 lobbyists are currently active in Berlin and around 20,000 in Brussels. 70% are corporate lobbyists. Critics of lobbyism say the bigger the corporation, the greater its influence on legislators. Social movements or environmental organizations, they say, are at a disadvantage. Politicians, however, benefit from lobbyist expertise. Legislators sometimes even take over their draft bills word for word. In 2012, an EU data law draft, of all things, included whole passages that had been written by companies like Amazon, Facebook, and Google. Lobbyists have an image problem. If politicians such as EU commissioners move on to corporate paychecks, they're usually viewed as especially dubious. There's suspicion about conflicts of interest. There have been calls for a cooling off period after leaving politics. Mm. One suggestion is that politicians should have to wait three years before switching jobs. The most successful lobbyists appear to be movers and shakers, former high-ranking politicians who've moved from center stage to the shadows. And they can earn up to 10,000 euros a day, influencing government decisions as paid persuaders. Thank you.